Welcome to another edition of Cardinal Weekly presented by the Cardinal Sports Network. I'm Benny Rogers, the Sports Information Officer here at the college. The video game-like season of the 19th ranked Cardinals continued as they rode to a 72-50 win against 18th ranked Navarro. The Cardinals amassed 873 yards of offense, yes, 873, and improved their per-game scoring average to an unbelievable 64 points. The 1 2 Cardinals led 35 to 21 at the half and then ran off and hit from the Bulldogs, who also fell to 1 and 2. Quarterback Gerard Evans had another huge game, completing 20 of 30 passes for 280 yards and 4 TDs. He also rushed for 81 yards on 10 carries. Ray John Austin Ramsey also turned in impressive numbers. He had 8 of 9 passes for 170 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Nick Jones, who caught four passes for 102 yards, scored twice, as did Mason Hayes. In all, 10 players caught passes for the Cardinals. Levante Owens, in his backfield debut, rushed for 109 yards and two touchdowns on 11 carries. The Cardinal defense turned in its best game of the season, led by Jamal Jones with 14 tackles. Ja'Cory Whitaker, McQuavian Jones, and Chris Haynes had eight tackles each. The Cardinals are scheduled to travel Saturday to Cisco for a 7 p.m. kickoff. They will be in Kilgore the following week. <laughs> the Lady Cardinal volleyball team snapped a seven-game skid in tournament action at Temple, opening with three straight wins before falling to host Temple. The Lady Cardinals defeated Hill 3-1, Cedar Hill 3-0, and North Central Texas 3-2. They fell 3-0 to Temple. The Lady Cardinals were scheduled to play Tyler in their conference opener Wednesday at Cardinal Gym, and they will participate in the North Central Texas Tournament this weekend in Gainesville. In softball, the Lady Cardinals had the week off in their fall exhibition schedule after having opened with a doubleheader sweep of Western Texas the week before, winning 4-1 and 13-9. Here are a few scenes from that doubleheader sweep. They are scheduled to participate in tournament action in Bossier City on Saturday, playing games at 11, 1, and 3. That's going to wrap it up for this edition of Cardinal Weekly. For the Cardinal Sports Network, this is Benny Rogers reporting. Thank you.